This is a romantic classical piece by Austrian composer Mozart. But when you hear this on national television and radio, it is not a call to a romantic date. It is the theme song for the STEM related quiz that sets trolls on social media and rules the agenda for bragging rights. Yeah, we have to make it look like it's a final. Because it's a final. If we take it too easy, it wouldn't be a final. The National Science and Math Quiz promotes the study of science and mathematics while fostering healthy academic rivalry among senior high schools in Ghana. Think not that this idea was mooted at the National Science Fair or Conference. Managing Director of Prime Time Limited, producers of the National Science and Math Quiz, Nana Ikuya Abuajewa Ankuma Asari reveals that this idea was inspired by a bird. How? Take a listen. The National Science and Math Quiz began as Brillant Science and Math Quiz, quiz in 1993. So when um, my father started prime time, he was looking for, for projects. Of course, you have to feed, you set up a company, you have to feed the company with, with projects and, and jobs, you know, to keep the bills, you know, paid and all. Yeah. And he had been toying with the idea of, of doing uh, a quiz competition on, okay. on science and maths for senior high schools, but hadn't quite uh, at that point decided how it exactly was going to go. It was one day in April of 1993 when he was um, he was playing tennis with his with his friends, the Legon Tennis Club. Yeah. Uh, it was like a transformer. I saw a bed on it. He said uh, a pigeon on it and uh, it, it made him ask his friend uh, Professor Awache, then Dr. Kweku mm -hmm. Awache, um, why the bird could perch on the electric wire not to be electrocuted but a human being could not do anything yeah. like that without you know <laughs> without being electrocuted. He explained to him mm -hmm. about uh, insulation and then you know it's uh, well, the scientific part of yeah. it. And, and so he said, well, I've been thinking about doing something like this, and I'd want you to be on the team. Even the decision to even at the time opt for a female hostess, I think it was a really, really great one. Yes. And I yes. think even as of now, we've managed to stick to that, trying yes. to promote that, that bit of it and get yes. a lot more people, in, females in STEM. In STEM, yes. Awesome, awesome, yes. awesome. So we, really. we even have uh, a quiz mistress who was a former contestant. The National Science and Math Quiz is aimed at encouraging young people, particularly girls, to stand and be counted in the field of STEM education. In 2021, the initiative saw young Francis Calamini, a representative of Keta Senior High Technical School, become the first female to contest in the finals of the competition in eight years. The young lady, from an underprivileged background, grew up in Dabala, a town in the South Stone district of the Volta region of Ghana. She gained admission into Keta Senior High Technical School and found her way into the science and math team. In the final of the competition, she showed how strong girls can be, just like their male counterparts in STEM education. Not only was she celebrated as a national heroine, today she fits perfectly in a story which could be dubbed from Dabala to Harvard after successfully gaining admission into the Harvard Medical School. More girls are in school today than ever before, but they do not always have the same opportunities as boys to benefit from an education of their choice. Too many girls and women are held back by biases, social norms, and expectations influencing the quality of education they receive and the subjects they study. They are particularly underrepresented in science technology, engineering, and mathematics education, and in STEM careers. According to a UNESCO report dubbed Cracking the Code, Girls and Women's Education in STEM, only 35% of STEM students in higher education globally are women. It is expected that initiatives such as the National Science and Math Quiz are able to inspire more women to take up roles in STEM-related fields. Name the elements in period three that form pure ionic bright so sodium and magnesium yes ernest senanudovlu 
Accra.